Here we have a 2011 on an 11 registration. Volvo B9R, Catano Levante, 48 seat PSVAR compliant executive coach. So, we are near Manchester Airport at the moment, at Selwyn's Manchester Depot. Obviously, being a big National Express operator, he does uh, collect Levantes. And, uh, excuse me, and as the age, they get cascaded down the fleet and become private hire vehicles and eventually they become contract vehicles and then it gets rid of them and that's where this one is now so this one is probably the oldest in the fleet now and it wasn't selling from new I believe it came from Corbel Coaches in London uh, it was bought I'm told because I've got very good reliable information sources here I'm told it was bought for spares and when they got it it was that good they decided to run it Offside bodywork, all good. Alloy wheels fitted. Under the bonnet, Euro 5, 9 litre, 380 brake horsepower Volvo engine that is driven through uh, Volvo's 12 speed automated eye shift gearbox. Reverse cameras also fitted. Over there, you'll see the workshops. I like coming into a yard and seeing hard standing in a concrete workshop because that says to me, job gets done right. You might argue with me, but especially when the National Express operators who are audited to a very, very high standard, the job has to be right, to be honest. Now, as we head back down the near side, we have got a little bit of body damage. That's probably the worst of it, but my neighbour down there, Chris, who works in the paint shop, he'll have that boxed off before it leaves the yard. Power-operated lockers. Masses of luggage space. See, when these Levantes get to this stage of their life, this is 13 years old, isn't it, coming up. They're great for 70-seaters. And somebody phoned me, an operator, in the last week, looking for Euro 6 70-seaters. So, we talked about Leopards and we talked about some Sunday guys. And he went to look at a local operator with a Leopard and he said, brilliant vehicles, no good to me though, can't get luggage in. See, with that, obviously not this being Euro 5, but it needs a Euro 6, but see, with that, you'll get your 70 seats and you'll get your luggage. And that's what I like about them. Obviously, the lockers are power-operated. I've been rattling on so much, I'm not sure I said that. LED destination displays to front, side and rear. Front step-mounted wheelchair lift. Best place for them because it doesn't take any of that space up. And then, as we jump on board... We have 48 reclining seats, standard two-axle Levante interior, three-point seat belts, black leather trim. In fairness, this trim, I think it's, it's obviously selected by National Express because they know it's going to get a lot of footfall, a lot of bums on seats. They want something that lasts. So, got to be honest, for 13 years old, it ain't looking so bad. You've got a rear floor mounted toilet, trays to the seat backs, some are missing, but that's only to be expected and for the work it does, do you need to replace them? You know, personally I'd take them all off because it's just less hassle. We're wired for CCTV, we're also fully air conditioned. Would affect flooring fitting and this is another reason why these are ace for 70 seat conversions flat floor to be honest because of the length of these you can squeeze 75 in I think at a push the biggest job to do if you convert one is when you take that out because there's literally nothing there once it comes out so you've got to tidy all that up and make it look pretty but that's, that's sort of the, the biggest job of the lot but in fairness as they go, this into Madden, and this is a rare beast because you will not come across many 2013 Levantes, sorry, 13 year old Levantes, 2011 Levantes, that's got less than a million kilometres on. That's your magic seat, so I've never quite worked out what goes on with these, to be honest, but you kind of take the cushions off and you twizzle one round and, and that, and it gives you a space for a wheelchair. Uh, but the good thing is with the magic seat you only lose two seats where normally if they're on quick release 
you lose four. Dash is all in good order. Obviously, it's uh, standard Levante dash. Everything's where it should be. As I said, less than a million kilometres on the clock. You know, in fairness, for a school coach, you, a rail replacement, you're ticking the PSVR box, aren't you? You know, which is which is key. You know, and, and, and as I said, you won't get many Levantes, if any, this age, with less than a million on the clock. So to recap, this is a 2011 on an 11 registration, Volvo B9R, Catano Levante, 48-seat PSVAR compliant executive coach.